Hi. Um, I'm going to continue with uh, reading uh, the first part of Jeremiah 50. Later on, Jeremiah 50, 50, all the rest of Jeremiah 50, 51 later on. And the only reason why I'm reading it is because uh, of the situation in Iraq. Uh, I've been paying attention to the Kurds and the Shiites ever since they rose up to try to overthrow Saddam in uh, 1991. Because to me, it fit with certain things which I'll be reading later on in this uh, series. This is a video series. About, it's a 10 episode video series. That's how I predict. And it will show you why I thought, oh my gosh, this seems to go along with what's happening in Iraq ever since Iraq invaded Kuwait in 1990. So anyway, I will read it and uh, put your comment here. Let me know if how much you think I'm reading into things. And I know I know if you're an atheist, you're gonna think I'm insane and just reading into things. But hey, maybe not. Maybe I'm not uh, a real life version of one of those bums from Waiting for Godot. But you know, I leave it to God. You know, hey. So I will continue reading this and see what you think. All right, all right. In those days and at that time, saith the Lord. The children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together, going and weeping, they shall go and seek the Lord their God. To me, that's been fulfilled with the um, reconstituted Israel back in 1948, because it was in those days, and at that time, yeah, uh, the Jews started coming into Israel. So that makes it me think, okay, this, and then with the situation in Iraq, uh-huh, 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 yeah. Of course, it also mentions... A separation you got Jew you got you got Judah and Israel. So it could mean not only is Israel re, is re, is reconstituted, but that the Israelis the of the hundred and forty fourth um from the twelve tribes of Judah will from twelve tribes of Israel will be reconstituted as well into Israel too later on. But it says, in those days, not at the time, the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah, which Judah are the Jews, and they shall see, and they'll, and they shall see, uh, remove, they shall, yeah. Um, uh, in those days, not at the time, say, the, the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together, going, we think, yeah. And they shall seek their way, they shall ask, they shall ask the way to Zion with their faces thitherward, saying, come. Uh... And let us join ourselves to the Lord in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. Now it's either a re, neither that either it's talking about a reconstituted Israel, or this is future, when the twelve tribes of Israel are gathered. Twelve thousand from this part of the twelve tribes, uh, you know, twelve. Thousand from this, making up to 144,000, 144,000 that go into Zion, you know, into the into the Holy Land. That it could mean that. So it could this could be future, and not something that took place in 1948. But I'll continue here. Okay. Yeah, my people. Okay, they shall seek. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces thitherward, saying, Come, and let us join ourselves to the Lord in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. My people, and I think this is God talking about the Jews, or the Israelis, hath been a lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. Now, a Jew hasn't forgotten his resting place, but guess who has forgotten their resting place? The Israelis. The Israelis have forgotten their resting place. And I think that due to the diaspora, when the Jews, when the Israelis left Babylon and went north and into the world, a lot of them bred with other, uh, other people. They bred with Medes and things like that and, and created the Kurds and the Yazidis and others and the Chaldeans and other people there. <coughs> I think a lot of people in the Middle East have Israeli blood on them and they don't even know it. But when all hell breaks loose, they will be chosen out of all that and protected 
and then they will realize that they are part of the 12 tribes of Israel, and then they'll go to Zion. That's what I'm thinking. That's going to happen in the future. I don't know when, but that's my theory here. Okay. But, get this, they have turned them, okay, my people have been a, a lost sheep. The shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them on the, away on the mountains, and a lot of Kurds are in the mountainous region. And when Saddam turned his helicopter gunships on the Kurds, they went up on the mountains. When the, when Turkey came and got them, they went up on the mountains. When they when uh, ISIS got them, the Yazidis ended up on the mountains. When ended up on a mountain, I guess you could say. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. Yeah, because they don't know that they're a part of the 12 tribes of Israel. All that found them have devoured them. Saddam, Erdogan, uh, El Bag Baghdadi, you know. Um, uh, all that found them have devoured them. And the adversary said, we, f we offend not because they have sinned against the Lord. The habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. And that would include the Jews. And the Jews are, you know, always attacked. Be called, they're always called attacked by like the Nazis and, and the Muslims you know the uh, Nazis call them Christ killers and things like that uh, attacked in the Inquisition by the Catholics and stuff like that so that seems to be fulfilled here okay how much time do I have left here okay remove out of the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans and be as the he goes before the flock for lo I'll raise and cause to come against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. And that could be NATO, because a lot of NATO uh, involvement seems to be with this stuff, but I think it's mostly um, talking about the Kurds, because they're coming, they're the, I, th I think it's going to be the Kurds that are going to kick ISIS's upraised Sunni patootie on prostration on a prayer rug like, like no one can believe. I think it's be the Kurds. Yeah, but the, with the assembly of great nations, a lot of people are with the Kurds, to help that about. And they shall set themselves array against her. Who's that against her? I think that's against ISIS in our time. I used to think it was, I thought a long time ago that was against Baghdad. But now I think it's Mosul, because you have Nahum talking about Nineveh, which is located in Mosul. Or located by, right, right next to Mosul. And they shall set themselves in array against her. And they did that. And now they're attacking. From thence she shall be taken. Who shall be taken? I think it's Sunni Islam. Because ISIS is Sunni Islam personified. Their, their arrows shall be as a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. And we got a hint of that in the Gulf War. Because you get that? It says their arrows says their arrows shall be as mighty expert man, none shall return in vain. It's not that their marksmen will their 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 archers will be mighty expert man. It says their arrows. That didn't make sense until we had cruise missiles and smart bombs. You know? They have become the mighty expert man. And it was that way during the Gulf War. It was that way in the second Gulf War and it's gonna happen again now with helping the Kurds and stuff to, to destroy ISIS in Mosul. Their, mo their arrows shall be as mighty expert man. It doesn't mention archers. Their arrows. Smart, like cruise missiles. And Russia fired cruise missiles into, from, from the Black Sea into Syria and hit the targets and stuff. Those were mighty expert man like stuff. Okay. Mighty expert man. Oh, you know something? I'm, okay, I'm going to have to finish this up here. And Chaldea, which is located in Iraq in our time, shall be a spoil. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, said the Lord. And you know something? We were satisfied in the first Gulf War. And we're satisfied in the second Gulf War. Of course, we got bogged down by trying to bring democracy to Iraq, which is insane because you can't bring democracy to a Muslim nation. You can't bring it to a Muslim nation. But I think we're going to be satisfied again with the Kur Kurds are when they overthrow ISIS in Mosul. Okay, um, I better stop it here. Bye.